Hey everyone, what's up? Your boy blew up on here. No intro music. Let's get right to it. I was just made aware of this video of Wrestling Jesus that the um, Carlos Mantinez Reborn, who is part of the Boyt community, I believe, uh, he uploaded this video and someone told me about it of uh, this dude who used to troll me back in the day um, uh, years ago. He used to go by Wrestling Jesus. I don't know what he calls himself anymore, but he has some shit. From watching my video, he has some shit to say, so I wanted to watch it and respond to him. To have some fun with you motherfuckers. Uh, I am going to juggle you motherfuckers left and right with some truth. Uh, yeah. Let's start the truth right now. Let's start this is another response for the boy blue. Now, you might be thinking, why are you responding to this jabroni all the time there? Because he's like the main juggalo propaganda bullshitter so once in a while you have to like put this guy in his arguments in this place so yeah he's talking about juggalo family <laughs> apparently a lot of juggalos are dropping the idea of family into those juggalos finally huh Maybe you're getting your heads out of your asses, some of you, or whatever. Um, Blue says that it hurts his soul, that the juggalos are dropping the idea of family. He says a couple things there. He says that you are family, whether you like it or not. He says... Yep, that's right. We're all juggalo family but you don't have to know everybody in your family. You know what I'm saying? Some families are big. You don't know everybody or necessarily have to like everyone in your family. If you're a juggalo, basically you have to pretend to be a family, whether you like- No, I'm not saying you have to pretend to like that person. I'm not saying that at all, you know? Kid or not, so it's apparently a thing that goes against your will. You have to be in the make-believe family by force, apparently. This ain't no pe No, it's not forcing on anyone, you know. If you choose to become a juggalo, that's your decision. And, you know, it just comes with the package, you know, as part of the fun and mythology of being a juggalo as part of the story. Yes, we should be there for one another. And, you know, first be better people, be, as, be the best people we can, work on ourselves, and also be there for our friends and family. Family mumbo jumbo. Apparently, this ain't no peace and love. Family mumbo jumbo. This is some kind of tyranny shit that's being forced upon you. Nah, he's putting words in my mouth and making shit up here. That's what he does. He's totally got shit misconstrued. You like the same music, you family. You are, whether you like it or not. You know, it's pretty goddamn pathetic. <laughs> I mean, really. And Blue says that if you meet a stranger, you might not be homies, but you're you're still family. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said, is that um, we might be juggalo family, but we're not homies yet. I don't know you. And as you, you're about to say in a couple of minutes, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but um, yeah, let's get to it. So let me get this straight. You meet a guy for the very first time. You don't know fuck all about him. You don't know if he's a rapist, a pedo, or what have you. Exactly. Anybody can claim juggalo and rep merch and whoop, whoop you out in public, but you never know that, you know, you just because we're family doesn't mean that we're homies and that I'm going to invite you back to my house right away. You know, you might try to steal my weed joker cards or fuck my bitch or something, you know? I think the audio fucked up. Fuck my boom box fucked up. I'm sorry. Hold on. Technical difficulties. It's plugged in. I don't know why it stopped. You don't know if he's a rapist, a pedo, 
or what have you. But he- exactly. You, you don't know. There's some crazy motherfuckers out there. You know, some jugglers might not know the message of the dark carnival. You, they might be some real, some jugglers are some crazy motherfuckers, you know? Um, so yeah, I don't trust everybody, you know, I have trouble trusting people in general, you know? Uh, Edo or what have you, but he's your family. <laughs> Uh, he's not. Yeah, you could have family. You could have people who are have problems in your family. You know, you could have a crazy uncle that might be a rapist or some shit like that. You might not like them. You don't have to like everyone in your family. Blood related, nothing like this. You guys like the same music, so he's automatically your family. That's the most retarded fucking pile of shit I ever heard. All right. Other bands uh, have done the same thing, you know, like I read in the thank you booklet of Mudvayne CDs. They've talked about that their fans are like a family all over the world. I'm a Linkin Park fan. Um, you know, they're, um, I, uh, I like to get in the Linkin Park Underground fan club once in a while, pay for that, you know, and it's just like, you know, they're a family. We're a family. Yeah, we're into the same thing. That's cool. You know, we can relate through that possibly become friends we're not homies though just because we're family i love jello do you love jello yeah then we's family we some jello son uh, it's pretty pathetic it's moronic huh i mean come on okay you ask what is the state of the Juggalo family. That's irrelevant because you are not a fucking family. Not blood related. Not, you know, by marriage. It's not like a legal adoption. Fuck all. So there is no possible way to claim to be a family. Okay. And the dangerous part of this is that they're going to use this family crap to their advantage. Because if you're in the Juggalo family, apparently you have to help each other out. You know, not just by saying... Do you know how much ICP has done for not only their fans, but also for charities and raising money and food drives, clothing? They recently gave a lot of their merch up to help make masks for people with this COVID situation. Yes, jugglers should look out for one another. Not all jugglers believe that, but me personally, I do. If a juggalo is in need, uh, if a homie is in need, you have to try to help him out. So basically, any retarded juggalo can ask anybody for a favor, and it puts them in the position of having to oblige the person. You know, you see videos of the gathering, some retarded, drunk juggalos. Hey, homie, we family. You got alcohol? Then some guy gets up, yeah, homie, here's some alcohol for you family. You know, this guy might have fucking gun disease, coal sores. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been to a gathering, but um, with this day and age, it's good to practice safe social dis- distancing. So that means no drinking after one another, no, um, you know, smoking after one another, you know, and don't forget to wear your mask. But yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, he's just he's making shit up here now, just trying to be funny, I guess. Your wine, he gives it back to you. Thanks, fam. Can you put some gold swords and shit all over your face? Oh, that's clean living. Uh, that's family life right there. Uh, and the idea of being family with, you know, maybe up to a million people is pro- fucking retarded, man. Okay. You might know what five six juggalos in real life maybe a hundred through the internet and concerts or something let's say 200 so you know but you claim to be family real family (laughs) 
yeah, we're fucking family all over the motherfucking world. And I love to be blessed in this day and age to have technology to talk and connect with jugglers from all over the world who share similar interests, the things that I'm into, but we are all individuals and into different things. There's metalhead jugglers, yo boy wigger jugglers. You know, we come from all shapes, sizes, colors, and genders. People that you've never met. These people can be rapists, anything. And you claim to be their family. It's complete. You could have rapists or anything in your blood family. Doesn't mean you have to know them and or like them. Completely stupid. It is. And what's your argument to present that you are a family? Yo, we family, man. That's all they got. We family. Could that the way it is? Uh, no, that is not the way it is. You're not a family, okay? Saying that you are looking like a complete retarded douchebag is not going to make it real. If you say that you're a family, it's like if I say I'm a pterodactyl. You know, it's not going to make it real just because you say it. I'm a, I'm a family. I'm a stab you, man. You a hater. No matter how much I hate. No, yeah, let me address that. I hate those over-the-top brainwashed jugglers that say, oh, you're disrespecting my fam or ICP. You're talking shit on the wicked clowns. Yo, I'll bury a hatchet in your dome. I'll beat you up, man. Yeah, I, I hate those kind of juggalo extremists that make us look bad. But we're not all like that. You can't just assume we're all the same just because of the bad apples that make us look bad. The over-the-top jugglers, you know what I'm saying? But I try to help preach to people like that. To help them better, better understand the way I see things. Not a family. The idea of you portraying yourselves as a family simply because you like the same music is retarded. Saying that you're a family member. Yo, where's all my mac and cheese homies at out there? If you like mac and cheese for dinner, hit me up. Let's talk about it. With a guy that you don't even know who's not even your homie without knowing who he is, if he's a rapist, etc., is retarded. Expecting to get help from others because you claim that they're your family is retarded. Letting juggalos that you don't know sleep at your house, they actually... Now that's where I don't agree. You're taking my video. You, you started off addressing things I said, but now you're talking about shit I did not say. You, you're going against what I uh, said is that if I meet you on the street and you're a juggalo, I might stop to get to know you. Maybe we can get to know one another, but I ain't going to just invite you back to my house just because you're a juggalo, you know? Um, yeah, you may steal from me, you know, all that good happy crap. So, no, don't trust anyone you don't know until you get to know them. You might, you can exchange numbers, maybe hit each other up on Facebook, get to know one another, then start like go to a bar and hang out or something like that, you know. But, you know, um, I guess it, it, it from some people on the outside looking into this juggalo family world subculture, you know, it's hard for you to understand. But yeah, jugglers got love for one another because we are all the outcast of the outcast and we uh, most of us do try our best to look out for one another because we got that family love and you know it's a, a just a feeling of acceptance and shit like that you know what i mean that's where you get fam kids some people are just some people don't even like the music they're just into it the family friendly aspect of interacting with one another online and shit like that but you do have that Letting a stranger, fucking drunk, idiot, drug addict person in your house to sleep. No, I would not do that at all, Wrestling Jesus. I would not do that. No, you got that's where you got shit twisted. You're making shit up here. There, knowing that you can wake up with all your stuff missing, that's retarded. Being a juggalo in general is fucking retarded. And you're not a family. Okay, the word family is just like a nickname for a group. It's like saying Juggalo Nation. 
shit like this, but for you guys to try to make it more than simply a nickname to identify your group is fucking retarded. And you're all a bunch of mongoloids if you believe that whack, retarded shit. Until next time, peace. All right, that was Wrestling Jesus, y'all. Um, he's, uh, like I said, we have history. He used to respond to me all the time. Like he said, he knows he watches my videos all the time. He's addicted, conflicted, feeling some kind of way. Um, but you know, um, yeah, he totally twisted what I, my opinion and turned it into something else in his video there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would like to get on a panel with wrestling Jesus. Um, I got to try to contact this Carlos dude and see if uh, he can get me on a panel with him. Um, I, I don't, I don't know what channel wrestling Jesus is using nowadays or whatever, but yeah. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I, what did I want to say? There was something I wanted to say about the last, one of the last things he said there. Um, yeah. I don't know. He's just a hater. One time he bought a he had he had bought a great Malenko CD just to break it. That was funny. Um. So, but yeah, you know, he he totally fucked up my my message. You know, no, don't trust everyone. Any old juggalo off the street just because you're a juggalo. You never know. They could be still a baby in the juggler's spirit and they might steal your CD. Like uh, back growing up uh, or when I got into it or whatever, coming up, I heard hate like people talking about, Oh, I had my Joker card stolen, you know, like real, real jugglers shouldn't steal from their family like that. You know what I'm saying? That's whack. But yeah, we should try to look out for one another. Yeah. We should try to help each other out. Yeah. We, uh, if there's like someone's in need, has a health problem, they're in the hospital, they start to go fund me. Yeah, you know, we have people that, that raise money and shit and help out one another. It's kind of like similar to Christianity, like Christians are supposed to help everyone out, you know. It's kind of like a religious message, it is, but, you know, at the same time, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, sometimes I do question, is Juggalo family just a gimmick? Is it just part of ICP's ploy to make money? What up, crazy emo queen? How you doing today? Um you know, um, I'm not a brainwashed juggalo, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I think for myself, but yes, it, this juggalo shit gives me something to be a part of, gives me something to believe in, you know, I believe that that jugglers, yes, should look out for one another, you know, if they can help, whether it just be from watching their videos all the way up to donating shit like that, you know? Or yes, if you're a homie in need. That's just being a good person. You know what I'm saying? Most jugglers are good people, you know? And uh, we, we just, we look out for one another. Because, you know, we may have had it hard coming up, growing up. You know, we may have not had people that were there for us to help us. But, you know, when you're part of this juggalo community, juggalo family, you know what I mean? It, it's just something so real to us. <laughs> you know, that's just the magic of the dark carnival. You know, that's the beauty of it. But sometimes I do question, is it all just a gimmick to make money? Do ICP really care about their fans and shit? I would like to think yes. You know, yeah, you know, sometimes you don't want to see behind the curtain. They could be ruthless as a record company business, you know. Um, but still, you know, I gain enjoyment out of their art, their music. And um I love connecting with others who, who are into the same things I'm into, you know what I mean? And it's just fun to be a juggalo, you know, talking to people all over the fucking world and, and uh, you know, just, I, I don't know, I'm getting off topic here. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's my response to Wrestling Jesus. Um, Ouija Lote claims that ICP don't give a fuck about you or me. But, you know, Violent J really wants you to believe that, though. You know what I mean? If you read his book, you know, he says that he really has concern and care for people, you know. But, of course, they're trying to make money, make a living. They're making a living doing what they like to do. You know, that's what I'm trying to do as a vlogger, you know. So, yeah, maybe that would be a good video to debate. I would love to get on the panel with Wrestling Jesus. What up, Corpse? How you doing? I would love to get on a panel with Wrestling Jesus. Um, he's still around, still hating. 
<laughs> I'm all about a good debate. So I think it would make for an interesting show. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. Yeah, but I hope everyone's having a nice day. Uh, I'm probably going to go uh, make a, go live and jam out on my main channel and Juggalo's online entertainment. But this has been a reg my main channel and Juggalo drama alert. Just to let you know, on my two main most popular channels, you know, I just want to make sure you see this shit. So just be sure you subscribe to all my channels, join all my fucking discords, and follow me on all social media and donate if you can, motherfuckers. Links in the description. Well, who wouldn't run their mouth about you? You're a piece of shit, Ouija Log. Fuck you, asshole. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> love you guys. Much clown love. God bless. Whoopity whoopity.